Anyway. This is Eddie Lawson. Uh, I'll be fighting right here in this building January 18th at Stockton Civic Center for the 209 beatdown number 11. Uh, just want to say I uh, want everybody to come out and thank you for all my supporters. Um, let's do this. I'll see you here. 209 beat down. XI, that is number 11, going on right here inside the Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. That's going to be January 18th, this Saturday. Do not want to miss it. Tickets still available at 209beatdown.com. I'm sitting next to Eddie Lawson right here now. Eddie, you're going to be taking on uh, Lex Kemp. That is going to be this Saturday. I would say, uh, we don't want to say the fight of the night yet, but definitely a couple of bruisers going to be heading into that ring. And, and uh, Eddie, if you could, um, you know, you're from Team Voodoo. Tell me a little bit about them, how they and how they've uh, helped you get to this point. Well, I joined up with them about uh, just about two years ago. It's going on two years, to be quite honest. I came out of a uh, drug rehab, um, was released for uh, heroin addiction. Um, the Lord led me to them. It was a good thing for me. And it's accomplished everything that I expected it to do and more up until this point. Um, kept me very busy, take up all my time taught me some good things. I've met a lot of good people over there. Gene Fields is the founder. Um, Vic's my trainer. Uh, uh, Tony Avila owns, uh, two, uh, not the 209, but he owns uh, Bad to the Bone Gym down right. on 7th Street in Modesto. Right. And uh, so we train there uh, pretty much twice a day. Um, I get up at four in the morning pretty much four or five days a week. Uh, get down there and kick it off at 5.30 and then uh, come back at 4.30 and put in another couple hours. So, so at least you're missing the commute traffic the whole time. Oh man, you know, I, I bought a brand new car not even a year ago. I've already put 30,000 miles. My right. office is here in Stockton. Right. So I live in Manteca, work in Stockton, train in Modesto. Yeah, I'm all. I'm, I'm spending two or three hours a day on the road. Well, if you had a dollar for every time you've had to make that run, but uh, you know what? It's not vain. You're obviously doing it for a reason. Sure. And and. You've been talking about the training, if I could, since we are getting so close to the event. Any any mishaps? How's the training going without giving too much away? Is everything going according to and plan? Man, it's an open book. Um, I, I mean, I strike pretty good. I'm a pretty good fighter on my feet. But uh, the last six months, we've been putting in a lot of ground game. Right. Uh, um, I'm actually excited to go to the ground. If he don't take me to the ground, I'm going to try to take him to the ground. I just want to see where I'm at with it. I know he's a pretty good jiu-jitsu guy. Right. I think he's a blue belt or even more. I'm not even sure anymore. But I know he's been doing it for years. Um, so I just want to say that uh, you know I'm dedicating this fight to the Lord first, and then I'm going to dedicate this fight to uh, uh, Lex's father. And I guess uh, several years ago, uh, he wanted to fight, and his dad was dying of cancer. Um, and his dad's last wish was, wish was to watch Lex fight. The guy that he was fighting, um, I guess, bounced out on him or couldn't make it or something. And his father ended up passing away, never got to see him fight. So, uh, you know, I know his dad's going to be looking down on him, making that walk. Uh, I know that first time coming down is really exhilarating. I'm pretty happy for him. Uh, I think it'll be something he'll remember from the rest of his life, whether he wins, loses, or draws. Um, so, like I said, I give, uh, I dedicate this to the Lord first, and then uh, Lex's his father. You know what? Uh, that's a very noble thing to say. I mean, a lot of fighters obviously talk about how they go in and, and prep for a fight, but they never talk about yet the mental aspect behind it and actually knowing a little bit about the character of the person they're fighting so um does that hinder you at all once you get in the ring is it just like a switch you go hey i know i respect this guy but i'm gonna have to dominate this guy at the same time how, how do you go about preparing for that part you know um at the end of the day this is a this is a people thing it's all about people uh, i fought danny marino young kid 30 years younger than me uh, it was a very close fight we went the distance um he got the split decision. I became friends with him. I've attended his fights. Um, I'm friends with Nick Abner, who I got lucky enough to catch him in 20, 28 seconds. He got knocked out, but he's going to fight again coming up in a couple weeks with SF1. Um, at the end of the day, it's about people, yeah. and uh, that's what I care about. But you're asking me, uh, yeah, I like this guy. I respect him. I think he's a good guy. Um, but when we step in that ring, switch is going on. I, he's going to give me everything he got, so I'm going to give him everything I got. I think this is going to be a good fight, and uh, that's where it's at. Right. I asked, and I asked Lex this. I figure I might as well ask you. I said, uh, "Do you predict this to go to the distance? To go the distance? Do you think this is going to be something that's going to go the distance?" And without giving too much away, uh, do you have a, a prediction of how this will end? Uh, you know, I've fought some big guys, and I know when you're fighting big guys, you get up over 205 pounds, um, and 
especially when you get over 230 pounds where we're at, um, you barely catch a guy and he's going down. I don't see a whole lot of heavyweight fights that go the distance. I don't expect this one to go too far, whether it's me getting hurt or him getting hurt, uh, but I don't see it going the distance. I'm ready for it. Right. Cardio's there. I'm ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to put it away early. Get guaranteed to give him a good show, in other words. I can't guarantee nothing. I mean, <laughs> the, the best of guys get get put down yeah. early in this game. Yeah. I mean, those gloves are four ounces. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, uh, any any guy gets a lucky shot, man, he can be a 10 to 1 underdog right. and uh, end up winning the fight. Right. So, in MMA, I don't think there's anybody with the perfect record. Right. So anybody can win at any given time. I mean, all you can do is come out and give your best. There's no guarantees. Man, you can almost make that the title of a book. Man, that's good <laughs> stuff. Well, since uh, we got we had the time, well, since we are here in the perfect venue, where we're going to be Saturday night, is there anyone you want to thank for uh, thank for bringing you this far? And uh, shout outs to anyone uh, while you have the opportunity. You know, uh, it's kind of an honor to fight here. I'm from, Man I'm from Stockton and Manteca, go back and forth my whole life. But uh, I live in Manteca right now. There's a guy that fought here, I really don't know him. Tony Dominguez, he's out of Manteca. Really well-known fighter. And all my fr I never got to see him fight, but all my friends still talk about the fights that they watched him fight here in this building. So it's kind of an honor to fight here where he did. Um, and I, you know, as far as uh, saying thanks, I want to say thanks to uh, my body air conditioning, to uh, Hard Case Performance and Paul Transportation for being consistent yeah, sponsors yeah. for me. And uh, yeah, just, uh, God bless everybody. And uh, uh, see you guys here. Let's have a good time. Lex, thank you, sir. Uh, Eddie, thank you so much. Gonna be fighting Lex Cap. That's gonna be Saturday, right here, January 18th. Tickets still available, 209beatdown.com. Thank you so much, Eddie, for coming on. 